Assembly Bill 1446 by Assembly Member Fear, an act relating to transportation. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, colleagues, AB 1446 would authorize the Los Angeles County Metropolitan Transportation Agency, also known as Metro, to place on a ballot for Los Angeles County voter approval a measure to either extend or eliminate the sunset of an existing countywide half cent sales and use tax, which currently would expire in 27 years. Revenue from the current uh, half cent tax, also known as Measure R in Los Angeles County, is dedicated to construction and operation of rail, highway, and bus projects in Metro's long range transportation plan. Uh, the uh, Measure R that was adopted just a couple of years ago has allowed Metro and the county to take advantage of low construction costs uh, and in our efforts to get workers uh, back on the job sooner rather than later. Uh, this bill would expand the lifetime uh, of that uh, sales tax increase and would allow uh, additional pro or those same projects to move on a more expeditious uh, time frame. This bill will not change the project list that's detailed in existing law already and uh, is not a tax increase per se, uh, simply an opportunity for the voters of Los Angeles County to decide whether or not to extend an already existing sales and use tax. Uh, I ask for your I vote. Any debate or discussion? Senator Huff. Thank you, Mr. President. One of the reasons that I ran for state office was to help um, assist in getting some of the transportation congestion in LA County solved. And so it's, it's been a frustrating process. As you all know, it's very difficult to accomplish that. And so it's with reluctance that I rise in opposition to this measure. Um, I think that uh, it's to be commended for requiring a two-thirds vote at the, of the voters in LA County but what they're voting on is flawed, and that's the purpose of my opposition. First of all, the ballot statement is not accurate. It says that, uh, among other things, to advance Los Angeles County's traffic relief, economic job growth by accelerating light rail, subway construction, and airport connections, plural, within five years, not 20. The problem is there's only one airport connection involved there, and I think we would all agree that airport connections, plural, is important. Another problem with it is um, different areas are donor areas, uh, such as San Fernando Valley has 37% of the population, and yet they receive back only 13% of the benefit, and that's locked in for an additional 30 years. Um, similarly, Santa Clarita, Antelope Valley, frozen at the 2004 population level, and yet they will be in place until 2069 with a subpar return, so once again, a, a donor area. More importantly to the San Gabriel Valley, which I represent, or at least a portion of it, is the Gold Line, one of our highest transportation priorities. It was originally defined in Measure R as going to Claremont, and the funding was set to Azusa, leaving an $800 million deficit, and it stays codified that way with this, even though there's more money coming. Having said all of that, um, the most problematic part that I find in this measure is the removal of the cost estimate and expected completion that was part of the agreement back in 2008. And what does that mean? Well, when you specify what roughly a cost is and when it will be completed, it was a way to try to keep on schedule and not spend money off onto other projects, such as a subway to the sea, as it's commonly known in the east side anyway. Um, the other thing is that it reduces the two-thirds majority vote by Metro to a simple majority in order to redirect the funds once this is passed by the voters at two-thirds. Well, for those of us that don't live in downtown LA, uh, we have a difficult time as it is with a two-thirds vote of Metro to get things accomplished. But by ceding authority from a two-thirds now down to majority, you can pretty much kiss goodbye the funding for the rest of these projects for another 30 years. Now, what happens if this is not as extended? Well, we already have the highest self-help county as far as what we assess ourselves at, at one and a half percent in the state. And so it's generating already almost $2 billion a year. So it's not like we aren't doing something substantive, but by extending it just on the heels four years after we, we did this last one, 
um, extension, or actually the new half cent that was done in 2008, it seems to set in motion uh, a funding mechanism to take care of some of the bigger ticket items that will probably have some very expensive cost overruns without the accountability. By a majority vote of the MTA, they can redirect where the money goes. And for those reasons, even though it is more money to an area chronically plagued with traffic congestion issues and we need real solutions, this is not the right solution for this problem and I ask a no vote. Debate or discussion? Senator Padilla, you may close. I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Secretary, please call the roll. Alquist? Aye. Anderson? Berryhill? No. Blakesley? No. Calderon? Aye. Aye. Canella? Corbett? Aye. Correa? Aye. Aye. De Leon? Aye. Aye. Desaunier? Aye. Aye. Dutton? No. Emerson? Evans? Aye. Fuller? No. Gaines? No. Hancock? Aye. Herman? Hernandez? Aye. Huff? No. Kehoe? Aye. LaMalfa? No. Leno? Aye. Ted Lou? Carol Lou? Aye. Aye. Lowenthal? Aye. Negretta McLeod? No. Padilla? Aye. Aye. Pavley? Aye. Price? Aye. Aye. Rubio? Aye. Runner? No. Semidian? Steinberg? Aye. Strickland? No. Vargas? Aye. Walters? No. Wolk? Wolk? Aye. Wright? Aye. Wyland? No. Ye. Ye. Aye. Anderson? No. Semidian? Aye. Ted Lou? Aye. Ayes 24, noes 13, measure passes.